Hey, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, one of my lovely co-hosts on this adventure, my good old friend Jolene. Hello. Yeah, Jolene Alfredo sauce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, let's get <laughs> Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. Is that not how you pronounce it? <laughs> yep. It's no, that's it. That's perfect. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. I know my, I know I can't read that much, so or pronounce words right. So I'm glad I got that one right. <laughs> but um, well, thank you for joining me again on this shit. I know you're so excited about this book that we're about to read. I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> Something tells me that you're not very excited. Ah, uh -huh. it's but not my favorite trope. But I'm excited because yeah. it's Usopp. Yeah. I think when we got on the wheel, you were not very excited. Like, there was no energy for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you don't really seem that hyped to read about Usopp. I love Usopp. Yeah. You know what? Funny thing. Uh, my older sister got me an Usopp figure. <gasps> today. Yeah, it's like that mini one that you gave me of Chopper, but it's Usopp. Oh my gosh, so cute. So now they're next to each other on my um my dresser. Wait, I got you a chopper, a little figure. Yeah, you gave me a chopper. I did. <laughs> yeah. Now you're fucking capping. I do not remember <laughs> this. Yes, you did. <laughs> you gave it last time I went to your house. I did. Yes. <laughs> I I guess. Oh, picture. <laughs> oh my god. I need, I need some evidence. I obviously wasn't here for that interaction. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't remember it. That is so funny. <laughs> Hilarious. Not fucking crazy. What? <laughs> Did I really give you a chopper? <laughs> Yes! I'm with 100% certainty you gave me a chopper. I gave you, um, I gave you a shank figure. Was this for Christmas? No, this was, this was, this was last time I went to your house. To my parents' house? Yeah, like to your parents' house. I got you a chopper. You, you <laughs> took me into a secluded area. And you're like, hey, Oh yeah, you're right, look I'm sorry, this. I'm sorry. And <laughs> you gave me a chopper. I brought you into the attic and I was like, I gotta show you something cool. <laughs> Boom, chopper figure. All you and baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's a good distraction <laughs> for what's gonna happen in this one. Um, so last time we read, uh, the village said that they hated us so much and we're burdened and we, we hope that we die during that accident instead. It's been quite some time since we've read that, so hopefully we can remember the plot. Yeah, it's been so or long. remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Something. I'm scared. <laughs> I just know that we have amnesia a lot. We, we don't- our brain not working too good. I like how you say amnesia a lot. Like, the amnesia stops and returns. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll be Isn't, like, amnesia, days. like, continuous, though? Like, if you- like, isn't it memory loss and not amnesia? Yeah, it's, um... Or is it both? It's like that one movie where, like, uh, the girl lives throughout her entire day and whatnot, thinking it's the same day over and over again. I would love to say that I've seen that movie, but I have not. I cannot believe you. I've seen clips of it on TikTok, so I guess I'm a fake fan. <laughs> yeah, she just, goes, she just goes through the life thinking it's the same day every day, does the exact same thing. She goes to bed, wakes up, and she has no memory of the previous day, so she just keeps going. Keeps on trucking. Womp womp. Not the womp womp. <laughs> Did you just say womp womp? <laughs> Alright, well, I got my handy dandy coin on me, so I'm ready to flip. Oh my god, we got a coin this time? I have an actual fucking coin. We're Not rich. Not because I remember there's a jar of coins in this room right now. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I'm so prepared. I'm real proud of you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, uh, do you want to be heads or tails? I want to be... I want to be, uh, heads. 
All right, heads you read, tails I read. All right. Where'd it go? Oh, you've lost it <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, wait, I found it. Oh, it's heads. Oh. That's a pleasant surprise. Was I supposed to read if it was heads? <laughs> No, it was me. It was me. Oh, okay. I was, just, I was I looking remember. at this, and I thought we already read it. Did we? I mean, I I rewatched the video. I thought we read this. Chapter. Oh no, we didn't. No, I'm I'm reading through it. I don't remember any of this. I just remember the part with the flowers. I remember the flowers. I remember everyone being like, you should, she should have just died, and then she wakes up the next morning, has no regulation, and then Usha's like, hey, do you want any friends? <laughs> I remember we gave her flowers, and then the next day, uh, we were like, hey, uh, you know those flowers that were on your table this morning? I got those, and then it's like this part. Maybe I'm just like, reading ahead, like I usually do, yeah. but my bad, my bad. I'll start. <laughs> I think this is it, because, um... I mean, I, I did rewatch the video to make sure we were on the right page. Gotcha, gotcha. My bad. Gaslighting okay. the audience right now. <laughs> I'm gonna gaslight everyone I can. <laughs> I'm in that girl boss mood, you know. You would never gaslight me, right? I know this will be a shock to you. You know the flowers you found on your table this morning? Wait, what's her name? I <laughs> don't. Her name's Kaya. Kaya Toaster. Kaya fucking... <laughs> Kaya looks at me con with concern. How do you know about the flowers? She takes a step back. That's because I gave them to you, but you don't remember. You see, about two years ago, you were in an accident. A tree branch fell and hit you on the head right there. I pointed to her head. She reaches up, touches her head. Ow! That's new. That's the part of your brain that sh stores short-term memories. In the accident... And the accident it got damaged. So that's why you don't remember how the flower where you got the flowers from and who I am. That's a pretty good lie. He almost had me. She goes to walk away. Kaya, wait, I have proof. Before he came, I grabbed a newspaper. Chopper gave me the book. She stops and turns around. Whatever proof you have is probably forged. Kaya, I'm being honest. Please take a look. She walks over. I hand her the newspaper. She looks at the date. You could have got the papers to forge this. It's not proof. I got this book, all the documents and cares you've, you've had documented on how you were doing. Damn. She hands the newspaper back and takes the book. She starts looking through it. She reads, her eyes start to widen. She flips through the pages and reaches the last entry. Tuesday, 26. Still no progress, like normal. She drops the book. I just catch. Be careful. I look up at her. Hey, Kaya. Are you okay? You were right? Why? Why do you care? Because we're friends. She looks up. How can I be friends if I don't- How could we be friends if I don't remember you? <laughs> Cause I remember you. That's- I love that Usopp Riz. Imagine being- being told that you have Usopp Riz. <laughs> that'd be- that'd be- I literally cry. <laughs> <laughs> no! Lying your way through it in the club, and you're like, actually, I own like real estate. <laughs> real estate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> I should find a realtor. <laughs> How long have you been reminding me for? Ah, uh, yesterday and today. But we've been friends just for over a week. So we haven't been friends for long. That doesn't matter. We're still friends. Look, Kaya. The townspeople. They... they don't want you around. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so desolate. I'm only a burden to the town. I'm living the same day and repeat. A Sunday, no less. I wouldn't be making any money. You're not a burden, Kaya. Come with me. Join the free crew. Chopper's a great doctor. He could help you get your memory back. And I'll be right by your side the whole way. She shook her head. I can't. I can't do that to you and your crew. I'll only be a liability. You won't be. I'll protect you. I'm a great warrior of the sea. That's really nice of you, Usopp. But I can't do that to you. I'm gonna go home. She started to walk off. 
He runs to, to catch up to her. Kaya, please, reconsider. She stops and turns to me. What was my answer yesterday? She turns... She stares at me sternly. If you're my friend, you'll tell the truth. Oh man, you pretty much said the same thing. If you're my friend, you'll respect my decision. I can't do that. Goodbye, Usopp. She walks away. Before she does, I slip a flower into her bag. I'm not leaving without you. Time skip. Three days later. Luffy, the log post re The log post re Log post? Mm -hmm. Has it been log post the whole time? Yeah, log post. I always thought it was a log pose. It's, it's gonna be okay. There's centers that can help you. <laughs> <laughs> We still can't leave till Kaya joins. Don't worry, Luffy. Kaya's gonna join the crew today. I know it. How's today gonna be any different? Said the- Whoa. Hold up. Am I reading this right? Which part? <laughs> it's just- It's just- How is today gonna be any different? And then Zoro. But it just means- I think it's supposed to be supposed to be Zoro said. Gotcha. My bad. I know it is. She's gonna say yes. If you say so. Zoro leans, leans back on the railing. Usopp's doing the right thing. Everyone everyone abandoned poor beautiful kaya -chan, said Sanji. I'm gonna make Kaya see. See is I I I ran made I ran, making my way back to the park. I love that Sanji's in here. Even though he's not the focus point, I love him. <laughs> Spend my day watching Sanji and it's... Yeah. I made my way to the cherry blossom trees. As I get there, I see a guy standing by the trees. Like he's waiting for someone. I get closer, and he turns and sees me and smiles. Hi there. Nice day. Hello. Yes it is, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm Usopp. I'm Kaya. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I continue watching. I mean, I continue walking. He stops me. Kaya, can I ask you a question? I turned to face him. Sure. Do you remember me? Um, I'm sorry, but this is the first time I've met you. Actually, this is the 11th time we've met. 11th? I don't remember. Are you saying that I have some short-term memory loss? <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Well, well no, yeah. but actually, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, about two years ago, you were in an accident. You were walking through this park, but a branch fell. Hit you on the head. Right there. He pointed to the right side of his head. I went to feel the spot on my head. Be careful. That spot's a little sensitive. I lightly touch it. Ow. Told you. I stared at him. Sorry. You really did get hurt. The doctors didn't really try to help. Here's a book where they kept track of your progress. He hands me a brown book. I open to the first page. It's got the hospital address. Number, patient information, my information, and address. Flip to the first page, read what happened, how I was in a coma for a few weeks. Once I woke, I didn't remember what happened. I believe it was Sunday, the 3rd. It was signed by one of the town's head doctors. The next few pages go on about my treatment. All different doctors or carers. I flipped to the newest entry. Tuesday, 26, no progress, like normal. He can't be making this up. It's got doctor signatures. Being on the pages has aged. You're right, but why do you care? Because we're friends, and that's why. Even though you don't remember, I'll remind you. I've been for the past five days, and we've been friends for almost two weeks. He knows me two weeks, but he cares for me. Why do you care about me? Because we're friends, and I want to help you get your memory back. He cares more than the doctors and carriers. What about my own friends? Do they still care about me? What's today? Pardon? What's the date? It's Saturday the 30th. Why? My friends have my, my friends might have the day off. It's been two years since I've seen them. Kaya, the townspeople don't treat you good enough. Well, I want you to come with me and my friends. Come with you? Where to? I'm co-captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, and Monkey D. Luffy is going to be king of the pirates. He seems to believe in his friend's dream. 
The only thing keeping me here is the cherry blossom tree, but I'll only be a burden to him and his friends. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you're going to be a burden, but you're not. I've already figured everything out. You won't be burdening us. He cups my hands. You don't have to worry about anything. Chopper's a great doctor, and I'll be with you every step of the way. He seems so positive, like I've told him... Like I've told him no before. Have I? This isn't the first time you've asked me, is it? No. The fifth time. What were my answers before? No. No. Because you said you were a burden and a liability. He looks down. And he raises his head in determination. I'll do everything I can to more to protect you. That's a promise. Hey, you a man like Usopp. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I need to think about this, but I'll see you before the day ends. Oh, okay, sure. I'll be here waiting. Okay. I left and made my way to my best friend Haley's house. Not long, and I make it to Haley's. I knock on the door, and the door opens, revealing ha Haley, wide-eyed and heavily pregnant. Pregnant. First, congratulations. Second, how have you been? She remembered her friend. Yay! So, yay! Well, she remembers everything before the accident. Yeah, but I mean, think about all the Sundays or all the days she spent not looking for her friend. Oh yeah, because she's been doing the same damn Sunday routine because she thinks every day is Sunday. I mean, no one even bought their, like, just meet her underneath the tree. <laughs> I don't know. They're whack. Yeah, these, these town people are assholes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they are. We saw in one of the last chapters, but, like, they yeah, know where her like... routes are every single day, and you'd be like, Hey, I haven't seen my friend in a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go meet them underneath the tree, because I know they'll be there at exactly at, like, ten. <laughs> Ugh. Wild. Alright, I guess my turn now. Haley slash moving. Alright. He, he, he stutters, hearing footsteps coming to the door. Baby, who's at the door? Perry comes to the door, his eyes just as wide as Haley's. Hello, Perry! Congratulations! I smile at both of them. Kaya, why are you. He wasn't able to finish his sentence. I remember at the time Perry and I sort of was sort of seeing each other before the accident. I guess it hurt Haley pretty hard and Perry was there to help her, so obviously they were getting pretty close. Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Everyone's an asshole to this girl. <laughs> I was wondering if we could talk, if that's okay with you guys, of course. No, no, please come in. There were tears in Haley's eyes. She ushers me in, as does Harry. Oh, Harry, like the platypus. As <laughs> 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 I came in, they were moving boxes, stacking up the walls. Are you guys moving? I asked as I make my way to the loud chow. We're... Haley sits down. Harry joins her. We're getting kicked out. Damn, behind on the rent. Womp, womp, womp. And she's <laughs> pregnant, too. Yeah. Terrible. But why? They can't kick you out. Hey, you look like you're about to give birth any minute. How can they do that to you? I, uh, how can you be so worried about us? Do you do you know what happened to you? Harry asked. You just getting thrown out. Why wouldn't I be worried? As I know what happened to me and what's been happening to me. That's why I, I came to see you, Haley. He wiped the tears away. What did you want to see me for? Well, there's this guy called Usopp. Been seeing me. Yes, we've been seeing him around. The third day he was here, we saw you two having lunch at the pier and showing him around the town. Really? Did I look happy? And we smiled. It's the happiest I've seen you in three years. Feeling the, my heart flutter. He was able to make me happy. Man, Usopp is like the ideal guy. <laughs> and he still got haters. You can't win here. Yeah, this is for all those like Usopp haters. Fuck you, especially Heisen. You're gonna fist fight him in the parking lot of a Denny's. Yeah, you're just gonna go fist fight Heisen when you meet him. 
<laughs> like, I heard that you're a fucking Usopp painter. I'm gonna stab him in the middle <laughs> of the kitchen. Fucking right in the middle of the tea party, you're like, I fucking poisoned that drink. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You thought about this. You have a motive. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I promise. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. You're gonna, like, pull out the, like, those cool tea pots that have, like, the... Like, the, the two different liquids in it. <laughs> You're like, wow, I found this oh. interesting teapot thing. Let's use it. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did he make you happy, he got you to genuinely smile. Not something... Not something that's easily done, Harry commented. Wow, Usopp was able to make me smile? A genuine smile? Do you think... Do you think he would genuinely care about me? He's been seeing you every day, and... Haley stops. And what? Usopp and Luffy defended you against the townspeople after they said really hurtful things to you. Hurtful isn't the word. They wanted you gone. She teared up again. I see. They wanted me dead. I guess my decision's made. Do you have a place to move to? Haley banged. Oh, hangs her head. I thought she just fucking, like, <laughs> decked that shit in a wall. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought this had banged my bed. <laughs> no, we have to move into into mom and dad's. We don't have enough money for a place. The town chewed up all the money from our parents passing. We don't blame you. We blame ourselves for not being more involved with you. Because you weren't working. We paid for your grocery and bills. Harry holds Haley's hand tightly. Oh my oh my god, that is so nice! Yeah. They're literally the, like, they're they're literally getting kicked out of their house because they're running out of money, but they still like paid for her groceries and everything. Yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're such a nice friend. What the hell? Yeah, and you still didn't see her like at all. You didn't want to see her during those two years. <laughs> well, what if she didn't remember them? Oh, it might be. I mean, she remembers him now. Well, that's good. Thanks to Usopp. Yay! God Usopp! God Usopp! <laughs> I can never thank you enough. So, I leaned over to hold their hands. So I want you and your gorgeous baby to move into my house. What? Hiya! Haley stares at me. Where are you going to live? Harry asks. I'm going to join Luffy's crew and... And Usopp said he's going to help me get my memory back. But how? We can't. I sat on the coffee table. Haley, you're my best friend. Knowing, knowing you both look after me, you as the only ones I, that actually care about me. Let me or pay you for everything. We'll take the house for your repayments. They can't. It's the dad's business. Was dad's business. I can live there as long as I want. I can't allow. I, oh wait, fuck. <laughs> I can allow someone I want to live in, so they can't take it away from you. You will have a secure house to raise a family. If you do choose to leave, just let the business know that you're leaving. They'll take over till you or I come back. Kaya, you start crying. Oh, and the furniture belongs to the business, too. If you don't like the furniture, they can come and take it. Harry covers his eyes in his hands. Th thank you. That's what friends are for. I'm gonna start packing before I forget that I'm leaving. <laughs> so if she can just, like, if she goes to sleep and it wakes up she forgets everything, could she just, like, pull an all-nighter? Maybe that will retain the memories. I was just thinking that. How long could she stay awake, though? Because there's only so long you can stay awake without losing your mind. Yeah, I think three days is when you start going, like... Like... Bananas. Yeah, like, hallucinations and... All that jazz. No fun. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up to leave. Haley grabs me, grabs me, hugging me. Cries. Her belly's so big. <laughs> Thank you, Kaya. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll see you guys soon. I made my way back to Usa, finding him sitting under my favorite tree. He looked up at me. I smiled at him. 
He brightens up as I walk over. I thought about it. And? I'm joining the crew! Before I knew it, Usopp picks me up, twirls me around, and places me down. Uh, sorry. That's fine. Do you want me to- Do you want to help me pack? Because I have friends moving in. Friends? I explain everything on the way back home. You seem happy to know that someone cared for me. We start packing. Haley and Perry come over. I introduce him to Usopp. Perry and Usopp start talking. Haley makes her way upstairs, sitting on the bed. I remember this book. Runs her hand over the flower book. We pressed so many flowers. Usopp says he's been giving me flowers from day one. He seems to really like you. Knowing your situation, he still chooses to see you every day. I feel my face heat. You think he likes me? <laughs> Why else would he be doing this? He flips the book open. He gives you flowers every day? I think he's the, the good guy and means what he says. I guess you're right. Haley catches, catches me up on everything that happened in the past two years and how she and Perry got together. I told her I was happy for her and Perry. Glad that she was there. He, he was there for her in the time that she needed someone. A few hours later, I got my stuff packed. I walked down to with three bags. I already had a, a box downstairs that Usopp and I already packed. We said our goodbyes. I would see them tomorrow before we left. I apologize that I couldn't help. Usopp said he would remind me. We could we could help to remind me of that. Uh, wait. And the bark. <laughs> I was doing so well. Uso said he would remind me, and they would help me, help remind me as well. We can make it my, we can make it to my new home, Sunny. Oh my god, she's gonna wake up every day, so she's just been in her house this whole time. She's gonna be waking up on the ship every day, being like, I've been abducted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I just thought about that was like kind of glazed over. The what? That, the fact that the fact that her and Perry used to see each other. Yeah. And now Perry's with her best friend. That is so fucked up, man. He couldn't deal with the, the, the amnesia, I guess. That's wild. Yeah, it's like those fucking what are those weird uh trend things? Like she's she's a ten but blank. Like she's oh a my 10, gosh. But she has amnesia. <laughs> she's amnesia. We said our goodbyes and I could see them tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Sunny. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Before the ship, we, we were met by a few people. <laughs> I don't think Luffy laughs like that. <laughs> Hi, Kaya. I'm Monkey D. Luffy. Hello, Luffy. Usopp said I've met you before. Yep. Met Robin and Chopper, too. Oh, little Chopper baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kaya. I'm Chopper. I'm gonna be your doctor. A little reindeer comes running up to us. Thank you. Usopp said that you're a great doctor. He's a funny little dance. <laughs> I can see it now. You do want the little arm swiggle and be like, Stop it. Stop calling me a good doctor, you turbe. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kaya. I'm Nami. It's nice to finally meet you. Hi, Nami. It's nice to meet you, too. You stop introducing me to everyone, showing me to the room that will be mine. So, this is it. Your new room. I placed my bags down, looking around. I rubbed my hand over the desk. It reminded me of my dad's old desk. What do you think? You stabbed me out of my thoughts. I like it. Thank you. Are you sure you want me to go through th this? You know, reminding me every day where I am, who you are, and everyone else. He walks over to me. Of course I am. As I said, I got this all figured out. Don't you worry. I feel like sh if she would need to keep a journal, you know? Yeah, I feel like that'd be good. Yeah, I feel like that'd be good for her. That way she can write down what she did that day and what she thought and her initial stuff. That way when she mm -hmm. gets her fucking, like, brain reset, they can at least show her the book and she can read through her, her own handwriting. brain reset. Like, yeah, brain <laughs> They reset yeah, you're just gonna file. press this button and this button at the same time, and it'll reset your brain. Yeah. 
Okay, you just gotta restart the save file that's in the brain. Of course, of course. Dang, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get a new SD card. I'm running out of storage. <laughs> yeah, I need a new memory card. <laughs> it's like a... Fuck, what is it? I had a GameCube and it didn't come with a memory card because we got it from like a garage sale. So whenever I played mm -hmm. a game, I would have to complete it that time or else if it turned off, then I had to restart the whole damn thing. It's like that. She doesn't have a memory oh, card. God. <laughs> <laughs> he walks over to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll start unpacking then. Yusuf helps me unpack everything. Shows me around the ship. I'll be getting this tour every day, and I'll be amazed every time. He finishes showing me around. He finished showing me around. It's time for dinner. Food was delicious. Even then, it feels... It feels like it doesn't give it justice. After dinner, we sat down and looked at the stars. Till I started to get tired. He walks me back to my room. I wish I didn't have to go to sleep. Why? I don't want to forget you and everything that we do or talk about. Don't worry. I'll remind you. I promise. He smiles at me. Oh my god, that's the name of the book! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can't wow. wait to hear all about it. Good night, Usopp. Good night, Kaya. I close the door and lean back on the door. Like my mind gets quite clean every night. I hope Usopp doesn't get tired of me. I have changed. Go to bed. I keep forgetting that our name is not Penny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Penny stuck so well. No, Penny is Law's girlfriend, man. I, I don't know why. I don't know why in my brain it's like, you could do both. So I love that, like, the, the last time we've read the law book was, uh, Law getting introduced to, like, her father, and then, like, he just, like, walked himself right into a death trap of being like, yeah, I'm, I'm dating her, why? <laughs> and that's the last time we ever saw <laughs> Rest in peace, Law. Yeah, he's been dead this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no. I pretended to walk off the bed. Like my brain just gets wiped every night. I hope Usopp doesn't get tired of me. I won't, Kaya. Don't you worry. I go down to the factory. Start on my plan. Get Kaya's memory back. Yeah, she's gonna wake up tomorrow. She'd be like, who are these people? She's gonna call them Marie. <laughs> <laughs> like she calls the marines from the ship. <laughs> so funny. Can you imagine if she got to be like a powerful fighter? She gets a bouncy, and like every morning they have to remind her that she's a wanted criminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Just like, hey, Kaya, just gonna, just gonna want to remind you that you have like a hundred million berry <laughs> bounty. Yeah. <laughs> you killed several marines. You have blood on your hands. <laughs> You're a wanted murderer. Mm-hmm. Good luck. You killed a marine admiral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you know, down with the magnet powers, you killed him. Good job. <laughs> oh my god. The world is safe now. Thank <laughs> god that one's dead. Anyway. <laughs> letter. Usopp sat in his factory, going over the letter. By now, it was the tenth letter he had written. None of them were right. They were either too overwhelming or didn't explain enough. Perry told Usopp he he tried to do a similar thing, write letters to you or stay over the night. But you'd scream, call him a stalker, or creep, and even slid them under your he even slid them under your door. Got a similar response. Usopp was confident that he would get a different response. Perry said you would get up anyway between eight thirty and nine o'clock. It would give him half an hour to an hour. To place the letter on your bedside table and get out. Then wait outside for you to read it and come out. He finally settles on a letter and he places a flower and letter in the envelope. Once they're out at sea, he won't be able to pick any. He didn't want to stop his little tradition. He decided Aww. to draw you a flower each, <laughs> each day. He went to bed, got some sleep for your first day of being a straw hat. He woke up bright and early and made his way down. He made his way below deck. Pe I'm about to say fucking Penny. <laughs> 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 
God damn it! Uh, Kaya, you awake? He quietly asks. He got no response. He opens the door and slowly peers in. He sees your peaceful form, hearing soft snores. He sneaks in, carefully places the letter against the lamp, and sits a book beside it. Quickly, quickly leaves and closes the door quietly. About half an hour later, you started to stir. Your eyes flutter open. You instantly notice you're not in your room. You sit up, look around, starting to freak out. The letter catches your eye and sees your name. You shakily take the letter, open it. A ransom note. <laughs> <laughs> a flower falls into your lap. You pick, you pick it up to look at it. It smells nice, and you unfold the letter. Good morning, Kaya. I know you're probably scared, not waking up in your bed. I assure you, you decided to come. You weren't forced to. Sorry, I'm Usopp, and we've been friends for two weeks now. I first met you under the cherry blossom trees. I later found out you had an accident two years ago, where you were walking through... <laughs> you were walking... You were walking through... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I just think it's so funny. <laughs> We're just chilling, and then a branch just no, goes no, no. bonk. <laughs> it just goes bonk, and then... Yeah, it just goes bonk. And the branch hit you on the head. Don't touch your head. It hit the front right of your head, damaging your short-term memory. There's a book on your ed bedside detailing your treatments. You place the letter in your lap, and you pick up the book. You read the book, seeing that Usopp was right. You continue reading. I hope you're feeling okay. After I found out, I asked you to join Luffy's crew, and I want to help you get your memory back. For four days, you said no, and on the fifth, you said yes. That was yesterday. You Now, you weren't sure how you felt, but you weren't too sure whether to continue or try to escape. I know you're probably scared. It's a long letter. Sorry. Today, we're seeing your friends Haley and Perry. They'll tell you more. If you have any questions, I'll be waiting outside in the hallway. Usopp. You look from the letter to the door, place the letter, flower, and book on the bedside, walked over to the door. You held the handle, deciding whether- oh my gosh, whether or not to open the door. You are now shitting yourself. You got a shot of adrenaline. <laughs> you got a shot of adrenaline and quickly open the door. Upon opening the door, you came face to face with Usopp. On instinct, you punched him in the face. Well, punch his nose. He holds his nose. I, I uh, I'm sorry, it. I didn't mean to. It was reflex. I, I can see it in my head. She just opens it, he's standing there all like cool with his hands on his hips, and we just go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> also, why is he standing immediately in front of the door? Mm. I mean, he did Places. say he was going to be in the hallway. Yeah, but he could have been like, I don't know, sitting on the floor in the hallway. It looks less intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, you open the door and, like, you're, like, face to face with someone. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna do that next time. If I come over, next, next time I knock on the door, I'm gonna be, like, right, <laughs> right next to the door. <laughs> well, good thing I opened the door backwards. You open it backwards? How the fuck? No, you know how I let you open it? In the door goes in mm -hmm. instead of it pushing out, you know. Yeah, so if I pushed it forwards, it hit you in the face. <laughs> yeah, my back, my, my pen would have backfired. <laughs> I just have like a not the size of an egg on my <laughs> No, that's terrible. <laughs> I've lost my place. Hold up, he looks up at you. Or did you already read the, the fucking, like, it was a reflex, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. He looks up, tries to smile. No, it's okay. I shouldn't have been standing in front of the door. How are you feeling? Are you sure? Okay, I'm sure. Okay. I guess I'm feeling shocked. Scared. He wipes a bit of the blood away. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was worried I wrote too much or not enough. Maybe both? You said I decided to come. Why? Your friends Haley and Perry are having a baby, and they were kicked out of their home. You gave them- you gave them your home, and you decided to join the crew. I have 
Short-term memory loss. I'll be a burden, a liability. Wait, are you a pirate? You said nothing is holding you back here except for the cherry blossom tree. And you don't have to worry about being a burden. I'll I've figured it all out. Okay. Now you weren't as scared. You were a little iffy about it, but still. He holds your hand, and you look up at him. He grins with his eyes closed. Don't worry, Kaya. We'll get through this together. Your heart started fluttering. Your face heated up, and you thought maybe he was your reason for joining the crew. Uh, okay, so what now? You try to hide your reddening face. How about breakfast? Sure, let me get changed first. You left him and got changed. He came back out. This time, Usa was to the side. He walks you to the dining hall, introduces you to everyone again, and after breakfast, he shows you around the ship again. Yay! Yay! Nami! Just a whole thing about Nami. Let's go. Oh my god, yes! That's the dream! Yes, the queen! I also like this book recommendation of you also like in this One Piece X reader a winky face and a lemon emoji. <laughs> And a what emoji? A lemon emoji. A lemon? Yeah, if you not know, in you this know. house. Wait, what do you mean not in this house? That's <laughs> all there is in this house. <laughs> no. Okay. I finally plucked the last lemon off my tree the other day, but oh. that's a whole other thing. Is it gonna grow anymore? I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. You could have made him have a little friend and then pluck it away. <laughs> we made our way to my old helm. Haley and Perry were walking towards us, waving. We waved back. We met them at the door. I noticed Haley holding a gift bag. Good morning, Haley. Perry. Uh, oh, hey guys. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who said that. Hey, Kay. Kaya. Usopp. Haley hugs me. Tries to. I can't believe she's pregnant. Hey, so how does your first morning go? Pardon? I look over at Perry confused. Good. Gustav rose the back of his neck. Good. Looks like you got punched. Haley pointed out. It was an accident. Gustav was standing in front of the door. Out of instinct, I punched him. I feel so bad for punching him. <laughs> Perry laughs, unlocking the door. We all go in. Kaya, this is for you. Haley handed me the bag. What is it? Look at the bag. It was a Den Den Mushi. I bring it out. It's a... Ka... Kameko Den Den? What is that? <laughs> I don't Am know. I confused? I feel like you did it right. Kameko? Kameko, okay. Kameko? A Kameko. Why though? <laughs> I record a message for- Oh, it's the shell things! I forgot about those. You're not on Skypea yet. You don't know about this yet. Anyway. <laughs> wow. You just reminded me that I'm a failure. <laughs> I didn't say that! You're almost there! It's the next arc! <laughs> after you finally finish the fucking arc that you're on! <laughs> After you finally get done with Alabasta, you'll be on the Skypea arc. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I, I cannot stop you. Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder why I never thought about that. If you ever feel unsure about anything, you can watch it. Haley smiles. She really is a good friend. Thanks, Haley. We, we stand, stand Haley. Yeah, Haley, a good good bitch. We're never gonna see her again, though, but she's cool. Rest in peace. R.I.P. <laughs> we the sat catching up the last two years. Probably again. They assured me that I wanted to join the Straw Hats. I could come back anytime. They'd be happy to continue Usopp's hard work. That's her catching up, apologizing that I couldn't help them move in. They assured me it's okay. Usopp said that Luffy wanted to leave soon. I said my good my final goodbye. Both Haley and I started crying. Both Usopp and Perry comforted us. Usopp and I made our way back to the sunny. Kaya, you ready to go? Nami asked. 
Yep, I'm all good to go. All right, let's go, Us uh, Luffy cheered. We set sail. Everyone had their own things to do. As for Usopp, he said he'd be back. I wandered around the deck. I wasn't given anything to do. If I was going... If I was... Wait. If I was, I would only forget. Really. Really was there... And Wait. <laughs> Really, was there any use for me being on the ship? Oh, was there? Okay. <laughs> My brain hurts. I feel you. Yeah. If only an extra mouth to feed. Probably wouldn't be any... It wouldn't be useful anymore. I don't know the lay of the land or the seas. Islands probably changed, as does the sea. Everything Dad taught me about cartography. Navigating... Photography. Home. Oh, photo- that's how you spell photography? Yep. Cartography. Oh. Jolene, you're so smart. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Navigating wouldn't be very useful. Kaya, are you okay? Huh? I turned and see Nami. I'm okay. I was just thinking. Thinking about what? Well, everyone's got their jobs to do. I don't- I don't. I know I won't remember the next day, but I want to feel like I'm doing my part. It's okay. Just work on getting your memory back. Don't worry about it. I sigh. I want to feel like I'm at least a little useful. What did you do before the accident? I worked as a sales assistant at a clothes shop. Oh, okay. When I was working for my dad's shop, I was a photographer. Really? You were... Photographer? Did you go out exploring? Nami perks up. Yeah, as a as a child, Dad and his men used to sail. Mom and I would come along. We would be gone for long periods. Dad ended up teaching me about navigation and map making, especially treasure hunting. Treasure? Her eyes turned into gold. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. <laughs> the next day, I. The next thing I know, Nami was dragging me to the library. It's in front of the, the desks and maps. So these supposedly treasure maps. But when we searched, nothing was there. No signs that anyone had been there either. I unrolled the first one. Instantly, I recognized the signature. I know this map. Well, the person that made it. You do? Yeah. You guys went through... Went there, right? I pointed at the X. Yeah, but there was nothing there. There wouldn't be... There wouldn't have been. See the compass on the top right? Yeah, normally it points north, but... Out here, a normal compass doesn't work. Yeah, it does. But do you... But do you see how the X is pointing? How the top left stroke is thinner than the rest? Or probably how she does her X's. And that is where you went wrong. What do you mean it went wrong? Spread in maps. She got extremely angry. I don't doubt that you are, but I was taught the art of treasure mapping. And Barb was a skilled cartographer. She wanted to test the skills of others. I just said a normal compass doesn't work out here, so why put it on the map? As a key? Yes, a normal compass in the Thin part of the needle points north, but the X points in the direction of the treasure. Not yet. It's pointing at the next mark. For the next hour, I show Nami how to read this map. After explaining it, she felt stupid for not recognizing it. Nami, you're not stupid. <laughs> what a line. You just don't know how to read it. Maybe your teacher didn't know much about treasure maps. Oh, like that the next treasure map. I didn't have a teacher. Who taught you about maps and cartography? I looked up at her. I taught myself. I dropped the map. You taught yourself? From books? Yeah, I did. Nami, you taught yourself. You know how impressive that is? She looked at me shocked. That had people coming in, asking to teach them. Some didn't get the hang of it. And, and that with the teacher. 
I take your hands. Now, I mean, you have a gift. The gift that will give you, no, the ability to map the seas, the world. That's my dream. I want to make a map of the world. Now, I mean, you can do it. You will. Usopp. <laughs> Where did Kaya go? I believe Nami dragged her to the library. Robin looked up from her book. Thanks, Robin. She went back to her book. I made my way to the library, hearing Kaya talking. Nami, you have a gift. A gift like that will give you, you know, the ability to map the seas, the world. That's my dream. I want to make a map of the world. Nami, you can do it. I know you will. I know I will. <laughs> what are they talking about? Knock on the door. Come in! I hear Kaya call out. I open the door to see them at the desk. What are you guys up to? Looking at maps. Nam Nami holds up one of the treasure maps. Aren't those treasure maps? Yeah, Kaya just encrypted one of them. So we're going through them. To we're going back to get the treasure. She holds up one. Isn't that the one we dug before? Yeah, and we're going back. There's nothing there. That's because you're digging in the wrong spot. Kaya talks about the map, how her dad taught her. She never told me anything about her parents before. The only information I've been told about by, was by others. Her and Nami got go over a few more maps. I sat back and watched. It was interesting, watching her and Nami work on maps. They figured out where the treasure was. Now, we just needed to go to the island. Once the maps were done, now he took off to find Luffy. I didn't know that you could read maps, especially treasure maps. My dad did teach me about cartography and how to read the treasure maps. Now he knows you can read treasure maps now, so she'll probably get you to look over some more maps now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. At least I feel useful now. Kaya, you're not useless. I encourage Nami to follow her dream. Oh, you've encouraged Nami to follow her dreams. You're a great friend. She tucks a strand of her hair behind her ear. <laughs> I'm not that great. Yes, you are. I have nothing compared to you. Working hard to help me. <laughs> I'm only doing what a good friend would do. Don't be modest. She holds my hand, leaning her head on me. It's nice to know that someone cares about me. That's what friends are for. I hope Kaya gets her memory back. The way this sad chapter to leave off on. But it was, it was nice! She's getting friends and then she's gonna immediately yeah. forget about that. <laughs> Bonding with Nami. I love Nami. 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 I got controversial opinion. I don't think it's unpopular. Not controversial. Uh, whoa, I don't know why what's I said the, controversial. Whoa, how controversial is this? Am I'm I gonna unpopular. Have to you? No, no, unpopular. I do like her hair before the time skip better than after time skip. That's valid. I do like the, the shorter hair and whatnot. I feel like it matches yeah. her complexion more than her growing it out. Also, that's really impressive that she grew out all that hair in two two years. <laughs> Didn't like, well, a anime, but anime physics, but b. I think the average hair growth for like a person a year is six inches. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, that's not that's not too bad. Yeah. Her hair grows twice as fast as a regular person. Yeah. I mean, she was on that weather balloon thing for a while in the air. Maybe maybe their weather's a little different. Maybe the, 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 the atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, this, I like this so far. I know, I know I need to fix or not your cup of tea, you don't go after them, but what do you think so far? I, I have no words. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> it, it's good. Okay. Sometimes when people say I have no words, that usually means bad. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I say that sometimes when I read shit. I'm like, I have fucking no words for this. And it's like something god awful happened. Not god awful, oh. just something unbelievable that, like, why would you mm -hmm. do this? <laughs> kind of vibe. I gotcha. I understand. Yeah. I'm glad we're on the same. I do like this. I hope we get to read it again and whatnot. 
Hopefully it won't mm -hmm. take as long as it did for the last one. <laughs> I don't... What was it like? I what? guess we'll... <laughs> yeah, maybe more. Yeah. I guess we'll have to see with this next wheel spin. Wheel spin! Wheel spin! Wheel, wheel spin! spin. Wheel, wheel spin! spin. Wheel, wheel spin! spin. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Right. We have a lot of different options. We have some shit that we gotta revisit. We got... We got new shit, read. old shit, medium shit. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Alright, I'm prepared. Let me refresh that way it spins. Yeah, there we go. Hi that shit. I'm ready. Are you ready? Because I'm not ready. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm like, I'm ready, but I'm scared. Wait, oh, what's this? Oh no! Wait, it's Violet and Kate from Arcane. From what? I was so excited <laughs> for her birthday. <laughs> no idea. I was about to scream. <laughs> that was my Roman Empire. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, huh? I, I thought that's what you meant. Do you know what oh, I meant? <laughs> um, I've actually been getting more TikToks of them lately. Yeah. I thought that's what you were going for. I was like, yeah. no, Matharthur was my Roman Empire. Why did you not <laughs> land? What is Big uh, Cat? Like, what thing is it from? It's from Arcane. It's the League of Legends show that came out. Oh. The next season comes out in, like, December of this year. I'm okay. very excited. Is that only Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. It's really right. good. I'm right. You're gonna have to- I'm gonna watch this before we even get into this fanfiction. I have oh, until God. next week to get into the- If not, we'll just do a secret spin. Yeah. Is it, um... Do we even have a fanfiction for this? Not ready, but I could look for one. Watch well, us not find any on Wattpad. And no, we no, we like... checked. Do you remember we checked? We did? We, how we checked? We, we took off some of the options that had no fix. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because we were like, oh, we don't want to land on it and then be like, actually, we're not going to do this. We can't do anything. Yay. Oh, God. Maybe I'm wrong. Are we wrong? Do we need to spin the wheel again? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We might have to. Hold up, hold up, oh, hold are up. Are you not finding any? Hold up, maybe I... I'm just- Maybe it's just- Maybe my phone's wrong. I might have to look this up myself. Hold on, let's pause real quick. Hold on. Alright, we can confirm. There are stories for this. So... Yay! Yay, the bare minimum new stories have existed. <laughs> just a bunch of one-shots. Let's go. Uh... uh... I guess this will be my first time interacting with the Arcane, uh, fandom. Hopefully I do a good job. <laughs> You'll be okay. You'll be fine. Everything yeah. is fine. And nothing can go wrong. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That'll be us next week. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, well. Something bad will happen. You know it. Alright, well, thank you for joining me on this. And thank you everyone who watched this far. I appreciate it. And whatnot. Uh, I there's a playlist that's gonna come up, or if it's already dead, I can't tell how long this outro is gonna be. So it, watch some of the Wattpad videos. We have a lot. There's like almost a hundred at this point. So. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Yeah, I think this will be ninety six. Will be this one? I think I gotta look and see what I have scheduled. <laughs> And then, uh, thank you for joining, Jolene. I, I highly appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. I enjoy being here. I'm excited to see what we read next. I know you had some ideas through the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> that you have yet to ask me, and I'm scared. What? Oh, about the trolls thing? Oh god, there was the trolls thing, there was something else, lord knows. What do you mean? That I, all I remember is like I need so I need to make a poor soul read trolls fanfiction with. Him. Oh God! Oh God! I remember what else there was? I I don't know. Might be it, but I remember there's something else. Might not have to do with fanfic. I think it was. I think the two things that I mentioned that I need to drag someone with is one reading a trolls fanfiction of some kind, 
and then dragging someone to watch Troll 3 with it. Oh gosh. Hey, so anyway, Jolene, what are you doing? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what are you doing like Thursday? Are you, are you free? I work the beginning of Thursday. Ooh, I don't know if Troll 3 is still in theater, though. I, it probably is. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, have you, what are you... I haven't watched it at all. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I just see the funny clips on, on TikTok. I like th this one person. They were like, I'm gonna go watch the two new movies that came out. I'm gonna watch Wish first, and then I'm gonna watch Trolls. I'm gonna go with the Wish right now. And oh, I'll tell you how is it, it the is. one where it's like I killed cinema, and then the other yeah, one's like I it saved cinema. Yeah, they, they go into Wish. Oh, like, that Disney was so killed good. cinema. Don't waste your money, your time with this shit, man. They did a horrible job. This is fucking mediocre. And then like the next day, they're like, all right, I'm gonna go see Troll three, and they're like, cinema in the loop. <laughs> And then Trolls oh, is so thriving! <laughs> Alright, well, that got sidetracked. As it tends to. <laughs> wow, wow. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time! Bye! Bye!